everybody. It's Miss Michelle from Apple Country Music together again, here with some stories and songs for you. So it's snuggle time. It's snuggle time, snuggle time. Everybody find a lap. Who's ready for magic stars? Owl. You see my owl? Hoo-hoo. There's my doggy Fiona. Fiona. And you are ready too. You know what I love? Nursery rhymes. They're so much fun. You probably know a few. Here's a book with a whole bunch. I'm gonna read just a few to you. It's called, Here Comes Mother Goose. And it was illustrated by Rosemary Wells. It was edited by Iona Opie. Iona Opie didn't write these nursery rhymes. They're so old and they've been around for so long. They've been around longer than books have been around in some cases. So we don't know who wrote many of them. Here's a cute one about little Tommy Tucker. You see that little duck right there? Little Tommy Tucker sings for his supper. What shall we give him? Brown bread and butter. How shall he cut it without ever a knife? How will he be married without ever a wife? these cute little bunnies. My mother and father are Irish. We live upon Irish stew. We bought a fiddle for ninepence and that was Irish too. You might be wondering, what does ninepence mean? Ninepence means nine pennies in money that's found in England. Oh, here's a fun rhyme. My mother said that I never should play with pixies in the wood. See the little pixies? The wood was dark, the grass was green. Up comes Sally with a tambourine. Sally the pixie, see? I went to the river, I couldn't get across. I paid 10 shillings for an old blind horse. I jumped on his back and off in a crack. Sally, tell my mother that I'm coming right back. Oh, look at these ducks. Three more ducks. I think they're pretending to be in the ocean, but look, they're in a bathtub. Did you ever do that? Pretend you're in the ocean or swimming in the sea or in a pool when you're in your bathtub? I saw a ship a sailing, a sailing on the sea. And oh, but it was laden with pretty things for thee. The captain was a duck with a packet on his back. And when the ship began to move, the captain said, quack, quack. Oh my goodness, look at this kitty cat. The one laying in bed. She has all these little pink dots all over her face. The cat's got the measles, the measles, the measles. The cat's got the measles, whatever shall we do? We'll send for the doctor, the doctor, the doctor. We'll send for the doctor and he'll know what to do. That's right, doctors and nurses know how to fix you up when you have a cold. Here's a really cool story. It's called, As I Was Going to St. Ives. St. Ives is a town. Here I am going to St. Ives. As I was going to St. Ives, I met a man with seven wives. Here's the man and here is wives. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Each wife had seven sacks. Let's just count one wife's sacks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lot of sacks. Each sack had seven cats. Let's just count one group of cats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at all the cats. Each cat had seven kits. Look at all the tiny kits. Baby kittens. Kits, cats, sacks, and wives. How many were going to St. Ives? Can you count that high? 
I've got another fun book for you. By one of my favorite authors, his name is Mick Inkpen. He comes from Great Britain, and this book is called The Great Pet Sale. He writes and illustrates his books, so he does both. Now the money in this book is pence, which you can pretend are pennies, okay? The Great Pet Sale. Look at that beautiful parrot up there. By Mick Inkpen. Everything must go, said the sign on the pet shop window. In the window was a rat. Look, there he is. I looked at him. Half of his whiskers were missing. I'm a bargain, called the rat through the glass. I'm only one pence. Choose me. That means one penny. Do you think the little boy will choose the rat? Inside the shop, there was a tiny terrapin for two pennies, a turtle for three pennies, and a tortoise, a great big one for four pennies. I'm sure you wouldn't like one of those, said the rat, but you'd like me. You really would. That little rat really wants to go home with that boy, doesn't he? On the perch were things beginning with P, five pennies each, a pelican, a puffin, a penguin, a parrot, and a platypus right there, all five pennies each. Do you know where a platypus comes from? Australia. Oh. You don't want anything beginning with P, said the rat. R, R is what you want. R for ready. Behind a plastic rock was a salamander for six pence, a skink for seven pence, and a gecko for eight pence or pennies. Let's see. Wow, there they are. Which one is which, I said. Nobody knows, nobody cares, said the rat. Sausages on legs. You don't want one of those. They're kind of cute though, aren't they? The next two animals were nine pennies the pair. That means nine pennies for both of them together. Who wants a koala that doesn't like leaves, said the rat, or an anteater that won't eat ants? I'm not fussy. I'll eat anything. <gasps> Look at that. The rat even ate a piece of our book. Free ants included in the price. See the tiny little ants on the plate? It's very tiny, isn't it? Assorted little brown creatures was inside a cardboard box. 10 pennies the lot. Let's see. Oh, aren't they cute? Look, there's a kangaroo and a kiwi and it looks like another rat and a bear and maybe a duck. Boring, said the rat. I'm not boring. Look, I can stand on one leg. And it did. Can you stand on one leg? At the back of the shop, we came to a big door. What's in there? I said. Ah, oh, just a dragon, said the rat. There's no such thing, I said. Then you won't want one, will you? Said the rat. I opened the door. It was a dragon. A great big Komodo dragon for 25 pennies. Wow, look at it, it's huge. At last, the rat was quiet. You're not gonna choose me, are you? It said sadly. Shh, I said. I've made up my mind. I wonder what the boy's gonna buy. What do you think? Will it be the rat? Or maybe one of the birds? Or maybe the Komodo dragon? Or maybe the furry brown creatures? Let's see. I counted my money, one dollar exactly. It was just enough to buy the rat and everything else in the shop. See all those animals he's going home with? That's a lot. 
a lot of work, but a lot of fun too. Do you have any pets at home? Maybe you do. Maybe you have stuffed animals, like owl. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.